and welcome to my studio. My name is Debbie Zapatka and today I'm going to show you how to make this enameled necklace. I like to start with a piece of copper that I am going to anneal. You want to warm that copper up so it gets soft. The color is going to change so you know it's getting hotter. That should be good. I have a piece of annealed copper here, and as you can see, it's really pliable. It makes it easy to cut and shape. So I'll cut this piece of copper into strips that I'll roll into my bead shapes. I like to make the bead about an inch long. I like one side to be straight, but I like to have the other side have an angle on it. I'm using this tool, I'm going to start shaping the bead. I want to make sure that this hole is not too large that my finishing bead falls through that hole. Might need to use the hammer to help create the shape. And I would sand this piece to get rid of any sharp edges. Okay, now that I have my fifth bead created, I would take these over to my torch and start enameling. The other thing that I want to do is that I've cut copper strips. These are going to be the connectors for my beads. And what I'll do is I will heat the bottom and make a ball on the end. And then as you can see, the metal is starting to ball upward. Now I'm going to take our bead, and I have dipped my brush into the kill fire, which is like a liquid that coats the metal so the enamel will stick to it. I have the sifter that I use to dip my color in there, and then I sift it onto the piece of metal. I like to do random colors. Each piece will be a little bit different. Now I have this piece of metal and I use that as a tool to hold the copper bead. That way when I'm heating it with a torch, the copper can heat up, but the steel does not stick to it. I aim that flame into the hole to heat up the inside and have it heat from the inside out. starting to glow. And there it is. Now I have my enamel beads. I'm going to start making my connectors with the copper that has the ball at the end. Now I had mentioned about the hole at the end of the bead. Obviously this would go right through the bead without some sort of connector at the bottom. Take my tool and make a loop. Now I have my five beads finished and I'm going to add them to this ring for my final pendant. And there you have a great enameled necklace.